Heather Dewey Pettit here, and I wanted to film or maybe refilm a video uh, about uh, something I've been talking about for the last few weeks here on my channel, and that is called Necronomicon, Tampa specifically. Uh, there is one in Vermont, I found out for sure, um, in my little research I've done for this. And anyway, uh, so this, it, uh, okay, so my con is called Necronomicon 2020 at home. And so, uh, yeah, so I wanted to talk about this. Uh, um, I wanted to film uh, a video about this, or maybe a little vlog about it, um, at the request of Savvy Writes Books. Because <laughs> uh, I was on her, I wasn't on her stream, but I was in the chat on her stream Wednesday night, and she suggested I do this. So I, I'm doing, gonna do it. So anyway, um, uh, so what it did was uh, Wednesday night I did start a blog post, and so um, I can just kind of read that out for you guys. Okay, here we go. Uh, for the last several years, I have had the fortune to attend a con, a convention, an organization that has helped me as a writer, editor, and artist, and brought me out of my shell a little bit. You see, Necro isn't just a con, it's a family. A family of authors, editors, artists, gamers, fans, and everything in between. But let me start over um, uh, for those who may not be aware. A con is a convention, uh, usually of fans of popular culture. Many are of specific genres, like science fiction and or fantasy, art and cartoons, like anime, or many other genres and fandoms. In recent years, Cons have grown to be so widely attended that they have attracted thousands. Uh, let's see. Okay. <laughs> Lost where I was. Okay. The closest one to me of this massive size is Dragon Con, held in Atlanta, Georgia, over the first weekend of September. I have not attended Dragon Con except in its infancy, uh, apparently, many years ago, when it was named something else. Uh, not long after, this one con and another con uh, merged into one, and the resulting brand was named Dragon Con. So, of course, now it's 2020, and attending con conventions is highly discouraged due to the virus that must not be named. Uh, it's sad, of course, but it's probably not a good idea to group so many together in such a tight space. And most people have heard the term con crud, uh, which is the inevitable colds and things that get passed around during a weekend of frivolity. Here where I live, in Tampa Bay, we have had a blessing in Necronomicon. It's a con, a writer's workshop, and an art show, as well as a chance to show off our cosplay creations. But to me, it's a family of like-minded artists of various genres who are willing to share their art into which they put their heart and soul. So that's, that's, that's as far as I got uh, Wednesday night, but I'll, I'll wrap that up and, and, you know, just say something to the effect of, um, you know, I just really feel, you know, that the people who run Necronomicon Tampa um, are, you know, they are like family to me. They uh, are uh, the sweetest people and very, very down to earth. And, um, uh, I have felt very welcomed there. And, um, so, um, without further ado, uh, I will, um, link all the things down below. It is a, it is virtual this year. If I, 
I don't remember if I said that earlier, but uh, it is virtual this year. And uh, it, so um, uh, tickets are available through Eventbrite. Um, and um, I will put that link down below as well as the link to uh, the website and anything else I can think of. And if, I think I will include the uh, nonprofit Kids and Canines in that list. And um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. And um, thank you so much for watching. And um, uh, so I'll be really busy this weekend. I won't be doing anything other than Necronomicon and just relaxing and having a good time. Uh, there's a, let's see, everything starts at 6.30 tonight. Uh, there is a party called the, the Igor Igor party. And uh, you can read about it and see what that is. It's really, really fun. Uh, I, I've heard. <laughs> I haven't attended it before, so this should be a real hoot. Um, uh, so anyway, there's like multiple parties. There's all kinds of stuff going on. Stuff for gamers in Discord and all kinds of stuff going on. So, um, uh, okay. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I'll, um, I'll talk to you later. <laughs> Bye. Uh, it, Heather again. Um, I just wanted to say there was a I, I was just editing this video and um, uh, I did miss a little tidbit uh, that uh, Necronomicon is actually um, it is Florida's longest running convention. Also, that's a little tidbit. It was started in 1982 by the Stonehill uh, Science Fiction. Oops, the Stonehill. <laughs> the Stone Hill Science Fiction Club. That's it. Um, in, in 1982, and they started with uh, just a, like a weekend. I mean, uh, they started a, with a one-day thing. And anyway, and it grew, and it grew, and it grew. So um, um, actually, I, I did find out later. Uh, I mean, I, did, I have found out recently that, um, uh, that I did probably attend Necronomicon a long, long time ago, probably around 1984, um, when, when I was living here at that time. And um, so, yeah, so there's another little tidbit there uh, that I kind of missed it when I, was, uh, when I was talking a little bit ago. So anyway, um, <clears throat> uh, anyway, just a little tidbit. And All right, so see you later. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.